Just for a quick inspection here, I cleaned up, up most of the gunk from the oil deposits on the cam tray and bearings and studs. They don't look too bad. I cannot feel any grooves at all. It looks pretty good considering. So I'm not too worried putting the uh, more aggressive cam inside. This is what I'm gonna be swapping in instead of the stock cam. This is a reground cam from DB Last Dynamics, a tuna in Germany. It specializes also in all the BMW engines. So I had a used camshaft sent in to them. They performed a regrind on it with a more aggressive cam profile. This is the cam sheet for it. So the opening duration inlet outlet is 266 with a lift off 11 millimeters. It specifically says that the valve springs and lifters can stay stock, so it's not overly aggressive. I believe the stock cam has a duration somewhere 250, 254, not sure. So this is a slight longer duration cam. Hopefully the idle will be not so choppy and even still with a little bit more power. I'm not expecting huge gains, but maybe like 10 horsepower due to this change would be nice. Looking at the two cams in comparison, the left is the reground cam, this is the old one, the stock one. Can't really see too much difference. I believe though that I can see that the lobe here is a little bit wider, broader than this stock one. So this is more tapered in a way, and this is more round, meaning keeping the valves open longer. Let's plop this bad boy in here. So basically I did put some assembly loop on the cam bearings. Just gonna carefully situate the cam back in here. Like so, right, make sure the walkers are all free and didn't dislodge. Next step, tighten down the cam with the cam blocks. bolts. So they're all hand tied in. What I need to do now is evenly bolt them down with my ratchet. Also again starting from the inside and out because the lobes are gonna press on the rockers in some points where the valves are pushing down. Not much to say. Pretty straightforward process, to be honest. Just going slowly, evenly, to apply pressure evenly on the rocker arms. Whenever I feel resistance is getting tighter, I stop and move on to the next bolt. And then just switching back and forth. Some people say these can break, at least on the M52 engines, because they're hollow camshafts. On this one, I don't think it's so critical. Just take your time, do it slowly, evenly, gently, no need to rush. Okay, it's getting to the point where I can feel all of them tightening up, so I'm just going to do them hand tight and then torque them down one by one. Once again, we're going to loop up the lobes with this assembly lube from Liquid Molly, not sponsored in any way. Give it a nice little rub, lube it up good, make it a happy little camshaft. Oh yeah, back one too. So I have my trusty little torque wrench. I found the values for the torque for the cam blocks, uh, somewhere between 15 and 20 Newton meter. So I'm gonna go with 18 and again start from the inside and then out. Next, pay attention to how to set the proper camshaft timing. With the camshaft lobes in the correct position, put the special cam locking tool into position. 
When installing the chain sprocket, pay attention to the arrow mark again, as it is important due to the camshaft F positioning sensor. The arrow needs to point up. Install the cam sprocket and tighten the bolts with the specified torque setting. I put the timing block back on just to make sure it's still flat, which it is. And I put the uh, cam gear back on. It seems to be in the same position as it was before. The alignment of the bolt holes here elongated just to tighten this now. And then we're done with the camshaft. Once again, hand tight first. Torque it down, 18. Check, click, click. Okay. So next step, put the front timing cover back on, clean the surfaces, put the new seal with some RTV on the sides, on the edges here, and also put a new metal gasket onto the housing. For sealing the top cover only, install the specified metal gasket. At this location, additional RTV sealant needs to be applied. Place the upper timing cover and seal into position with two bolts. Screw the remaining bolts loosely into holes. Put in here, like so, the bolts. Get two started. Yeah, always very disturbing when you're looking for the M10 socket. You have to search for it everywhere. Now what I'm gonna do is just hand tight, keep these loose, because in the manual it actually says to install the valve cover first, push it down, and then tighten the front cover bolts. I forgot the oil squatter line, which I just put back. Thank God I remembered it. And now comes the valve cover. Mount the valve cover and tighten. The resulting pressure will guarantee that the bottom gasket will be absolutely leak free. I spared you with my battle to put this thing back on. The gasket was misaligned, so now I did it again and it fits. I loosely bolted the valve cover bolts on, also the timing, changed front cover, and now I'm just gonna easily go around and tighten everything. Fasten the remaining front timing cover bolts. These more or less, when they bottom out, it's done. And that's it, no need to go further. So basically I'm finished now. I bolted the water pump also back on, as well as the camshaft sensor. So everything is tight, the hose for the radiator is back on, everything is bolted up, I double checked. So next step would be to fire it up, see if this baby comes alive. I'm actually in the car, I'm just gonna crank it. I pulled the fuse for the fuel pump. I just wanna crank it over a couple of times to put some oil pressure and make sure nothing is weird or making noises. And it sounded pretty normal. So let's put the fuse back and try it now. We're good. Here it goes, all or nothing. I'm a little bit nervous, but oh well. No risk, no fun, right? All right, start it up. That is a good sign. Okay, it runs a little bit choppy. It has been sitting for a while. to warm up. I'm gonna rev it and see. Add some coolant also. Bleed the system. Yeah, so far, so good I would say. So it has settled down a little bit. It has warmed up more or less. No leaks. It's running a little bit choppy. As you can hear. Let me 
get up in the revs a little bit. shaft for the idle but that's the next step so I'll do a test drive another time <laughs> 